Hi everybody, it's in from DIY Home and Gardening. DIY projects today and behind me is the uh, towel rail that so many of us have, which is fantastic, they look great. But uh, how on earth do you take them off to drain them down? Let me show you. So first things first, start by removing your fixing caps. Uh, we expose the screws that will hold it in place. Then you've got your normal valves, so tighten that down fully so it's closed off. If you've got a thermostatic valve like I have, then turn it right away down to frost protection. You can either leave it at that or swap it out for a stop end, uh, which will then, once you've pulled that nice and tight, that will close off the valve properly. Next thing, undo the screws get someone else if it's a big radiator like this get someone else to help hold the radiator in place um, at this stage just because time will start moving quite quickly get a towel set up so wraps behind the the pipe work and um, also find a bowl so key is now you un undo all the fixing screws have a helper to just hold the radiator steady whilst you do this. So at this stage you also want to find that elusive radiator key, um, which for one of these goes in at the very top. You should find a uh, one of the valves will have a hole on it to allow the air in. Um, if you haven't got a radiator key to hand, then a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, will also work. Right, as it's a chrome pipe or chrome fixings, make sure you use a nice flat spanner or a flat field spanner. Uh, I tend to use a bit of toilet paper just around it as well, so then you know you're not going to mark any of the chrome. So on this side, the right hand side, just loosen it fractionally, very fractionally. So now we come to the left hand side and this side we're going to take off totally. As soon as it's loose, we're going to allow the pipe to drop down and this to come up slightly, swivel the radiator around so it's over the bowl and water starts draining out into the okay, bowl. Okay, so we allow the water to come out on this side. You can see that side is still nice and dry. And then from this stage, you then get your helper to turn the radiator key on the top that will allow the air to come into the radiator and the flow much quicker. So you can hear the air getting sucked in at the top. Water's coming out and you can see all that black is all the rubbish that's built up over the last few years. Um, obviously use the washing up bowl because these radiators do hold a, a lot of lot of water, more than you think. So wait till the water's come out finished and then only once it's finished take that valve off and the bottom no. right concentrate on the bottom bit Ruben I am okay so you've got your radiator off on both sides tilt it slowly so you've got your fingers on the holes tilt it slowly and just allow the last little bit of water to come out so if you do need a second person for this, then get them. But you can see how dirty that water is. And that is all set now, so we can then take off the fixings. Okay, radiator all off. Last thing is to take these fixings off. So if they're like mine, just unscrew that. Collar comes off, and then that will be another screw inside so we we'll just do that and then you've got to start to finish okay so it's fittings all out and as you can see we're just left with the tails so you can leave them like that if uh, just a precaution <laughs> take some of the top water out just uh, prevents uh, little, little fingers going in there and playing with all the water and then you're free to take off the last tiles or um, do your painting whatever you need to do but for the time being that's all done safe just need to tidy away the radiator and muck before the wife gets home so thanks for watching the video hope you found it useful um, certainly you know it's quite a good
trick to learn and uh, if you've got any questions just send them over to me I'll do my best to answer them for you in the meantime if you like what I'm doing then please subscribe don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing and um, yeah I'd normally say have fun in your garden but obviously this is in the middle of a bathroom uh, partly being destroyed so have fun doing DIY projects till next time Monday you go see you soon